Hello again, this is Stephen Cook, Cooksaw Manufacturing. Uh, we thought today we'd take just a few minutes here and show you how to measure a bandsaw blade. Uh, it's very important uh, in, in getting the right length for your sawmill. We get this question uh, all along and, uh, and sometime you may have been running a sawmill for a while but maybe you've ground your wheels or done different things and it's good to know the exact length of your sawmill. And uh, so we wanted to show this real briefly today. We'll also next week uh, go out to the sawmill and show you how to find the length and, and what would be a, a good adjustment as far as the shortest and the longest as well. But this one will be about just uh, measuring the length of your blade. And what we like to do, or what you need to do, is open, open your blade up. And I generally like to uh, look for the uh, the weld area. And this one's got a nice shiny spot where the weld has been ground. And, and I'll start on that and we'll take a white out marker. Uh, there's some scratches on the floor right here that would work. But I want to I wanna know exactly, even though I've got the, the uh, shiny area here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark this, this blade. Uh, this is a white out marker that they use for uh, correction on your uh, on paper, paperwork really. But I'm going to mark that blade, put my glove back on, and then I'll just roll this blade out. I'm just going to roll it uh, until, until that mark comes up again. Now I want to roll it straight and not be, not be wiggling back and forth on the ground, but just in a straight path and just let it kind of roll. It'll just almost do it itself. And when this mark comes down again, right there, I'm going to I'm going to mark my floor again right here. So now I know uh, exactly how long this is. And I'll just roll my blade back up. If you happen to have a broken blade that was doing good, then that's easy to just lay out and measure. But uh, if you try to do this with a, uh, pulling it around the blade or even using your, your uh, uh, tape measure and pulling it uh, around the wheels, well, it crinkles and pops up like this, and you can't get an accurate measurement. You may be off an inch or, or more, uh, one way or another. And, and you may even have to have somebody to help you hold it on the mark or, or push it out and, and uh, to the mark. But you want to make sure that you're uh, dead on where it's at. So I'm going to walk down and, and check this. I think I didn't roll it out far enough to start with, but I'm going to put it right on the mark here. And we're, we're right on the mark here as well. So, um, and this blade is 202 and a quarter inches. Uh, I'll just double check it again to make sure I'm, I'm dead on. But, um, that's, that's it right there. So that's how you do it, and uh, uh, so that gives me a good accurate measurement, and I can tell you exactly what I need, and uh, then uh, we're going to do another video as well about how we cut the blade. Uh, because of your tooth spacing and your sharpening, we want to cut that blade at the right area, and when we weld it, we lose a little bit of area. Uh, so all those things come into play, but that's just how you, go, you lay it out and measure it. Just a quick video to show you that. Stay tuned next week and uh, we'll, we'll show you about cutting and actually measuring on the